an ill-fated family from Farmington, Utah was horrified when they discovered their own dog was put up for adoption six months after they brought her to the vet to be euthanized. In the fall of 2016, the Coates family noticed their boxer dog Zoe's health had taken a decline when she began having seizures and grew an enormous mass on the side of her body. The family was under the impression the growth was cancerous and induced pain upon her, and believed it best to have Zoe put to rest. In late November, the father of the dog's owner, Tani Coates, took Zoe to the Bayview Animal Hospital for the final procedure as Tani grew too emotional for the troubling task. The family had dealt with their fair share of disappointment in months prior to Zoe's misfortune. The Coates' home went into foreclosure after Tani's husband reportedly robbed a bank and was shipped off to prison. After six months passed, the family decided they were ready to put warmth back in their home, and decided they wanted to adopt another boxer dog. Tani sought listings on the Boxer Town Rescue of Utah's Facebook page. When she scrolled through, she was shocked by what she saw before her eyes. I see the Boxer Town Rescue page and I'm like, that looks like my dog. Then I thought, I'm crazy, but I click on it anyway and zoom in and say, no, that's my dog. Coates said in a tearful interview with KSL. Zoe was listed under the new name Miss Frankie, a sweet pup who was seeking a new foster home. This felt like a final stab. Tani said. It was just one too many things. I knew it was going to be what pushed my kids to their breaking point. According to Mr. Coates, who was the only person in the presence of veterinarian Dr. Mary Smart the day he took Zoe to be euthanized, he was given no indication that the hospital would not plan go through with the euthanization. Mr. Coates said he was even given a receipt for $215 for euthanasia and cremation as well as a greeting card with regrets of the dogs passing from the hospital staff. But Smart said things went down a bit differently that day. From my interaction with Mr. Coates, it seemed pretty obvious to me that they didn't want the dog, she said. Smart said she believed Zoe had more life to live and alternative medical options. In my professional opinion, this was a dog that had years to live and I didn't want to put the dog down. I was trying to save its life. Smart claimed she explained the surgery and medication options to Mr. Coates, but he still insisted on letting the dog to rest. Following the miscommunication, Smart decided to go ahead and send the pup to a rescue home, where she could be properly treated and cared for. Smart failed to inform the family about her decision and what seemed to be good intent for the pup. I screwed up, Smart said in the interview. I should have called the family. Had I any inkling that they might at all be interested in having the dog back? I would have for sure called. But after my conversation with Mr. Coates, it just seemed very obvious to me that they didn't want the dog. Dr. Drew Allen, of Utah's veterinary board, said the matter could have been a legal dispute. As much as we are in this profession for the love of the animals, we need to make sure we're not putting just what we think is best for the animal above the owners and the humans involved in the equation as well," Allen said. Despite the whirlwind of confusion, the Coates family was able to bring Zoe back home, where, beyond their knowledge, she would continue to live a fulfilling and healthy life.